good morning good afternoon good evening to everyone joining us from all around the world today i can already see a lot of you have joined in and i'm so so excited to host the valedictory ceremony today for all of you uh keep up the excitement that you are already maintaining in the chat section and let's make this valedictory ceremony something that we'll always remember by let me start by congratulating every one of you for reaching such an important milestone in your learning journey congratulations you've done it i am really in awe of the kind of commitment hard work grit and dedication you all have it's truly remarkable and so inspiring once again congratulations you're now equipped with the most in demand business management skills after months and months of grueling hard work late nights and chasing deadlines we know that this experience will be the deepest and the most meaningful one in your career now this journey would have been absolutely incomplete without the support of your loved ones right so big thank you to the parents siblings partners and friends who have taken out the time to be here today for their loved ones special day you've truly made an impact for all the graduates who are sitting here today you must be so proud now your hard work has inspired us so much that we committed to make this day the most memorable one we have tons and tons of surprises lined up for you so get up and sit tight now firstly a valedictory ceremony cannot be complete without wearing a graduation cap is it keeping that in mind we have a very special ar filter just for you click on the link pinned in the chat section take a picture with the filter and share your happy faces as you can see on the screen right now don't forget to tag imt and upgrad on linkedin and of course don't forget to use the official hashtag for this ceremony which is imt valedictory ceremony imt and upgrad valedictory ceremony my bad I am sure a lot of you have already had the opportunity to try it out. Now I don't expect much from the others but considering all of y'all are tech savvy and social media savvy, I am going to be keeping my LinkedIn on and I'm going to keep checking how many such amazing faces appear on my LinkedIn using the hashtag IMT and upgrade valedictory ceremony. Now, let's get started with the main segment. Moving on to the next big surprise that we have for you. We have a very special guest today from IMT. I'd like to welcome Professor Vishal Talwar who's the director of IMT Ghaziabad. Dr. Vishal Talwar is a professor of marketing and director at IMT Ghaziabad like I mentioned. Prior to this, uh, Dr. Talwar was dean for the School of Management as well as director of innovations and entrepreneurship at the BML Munjal University. In the past Dr Talwar has also served as the assistant dean for the EMBA and BBA MBA uh, program as well as the head of campus at the SP Jain School of Global Management in Bombay. I can go on and on about his achievements of course but time is of the essence so without any further ado let me call upon Dr Talwar please. Thank you very much Ankita um thank you so much for your kind words and um you know once again I join you and everybody else um in congratulating everyone um you know you call it a valedictory address which essentially means you know farewell but I believe fundamentally this is essentially a start of a of a friendship of a relationship um you know because at the end of the day it's about continuous learning and something that I'll speak about you know when we are at a later stage um thank you so much to everyone Uh, everyone who was part of our learning experience everyone who made us learn in the entire process as well because any self respecting organization educational institution has to constantly imbibe a lot of the expectations a lot of the changes that are currently uh, engulfing in a way um, not only india but you know everywhere in the world um, we all are aware of the various headwinds and of course tailwinds um that the educational sector and of course the other sectors are actually facing uh, right now um but one thing is very clear uh, the fact that we all have to be transformed we all have to be able to create certain agility certain flexibility certain resilience 
in how we come across uh, to our students, uh, whether that be in terms of the kind of curriculum, whether that be in terms of how we deliver that curriculum in the classroom and outside the classroom. How do we engage the industry as we go forward? Because I think the industry is as much a partner in the progression that we would like to create in the progressive disruption that we would like to create as we go on. Um, those are fundamentally what is is important to us. At Amdi Ghazibad, we've been, you know, uh, the last two and a half, three year, odd years have been a test, have been a test of our abilities, has been a test of what we can do, has been a test of how we as a system, as an institution, as people within the institution have been able to take this forward. So a lot of the positive changes, a lot of the, um, you know, unlearning, the relearning, a lot of the learner centricity that we have created in the last three odd years is, is a testament of a commitment to each and every student. Um, you know, something that you should also be aware of, something that you should be aware of is the fact that just like organizations commit themselves to change, just like organizations don't rest on their laurels or what they may have achieved in the past, whether that be for the last 30 odd years, 50 years, 70 years, um, you also have to commit yourself to learning new tools, imbibing new concepts, new abilities, new thought processes, and also, quite frankly, new careers as you go forward. You know, these are things that you have to think about. You know, at IMT Ghazibad, if you look at, you know, what the, the strength of an educational institution are, the strength essentially are around the ecosystem, are around the pedagogies, are around the faculty, are around the students. You know, if you look at our faculty, the kind of uh, knowledge dissemination as well as the knowledge creation that they actually do um, is once again a testament of how we would like to take the next 10, 15 odd years. Remember the last 40, 50 odd years are there, but the next 10, 15 odd years are very, very different as far as the educational landscape is concerned. These are things that we are ready for. These are things that we um, are committed to. Uh, for example, you know, we are an AACSB accredited institution, which is a gold standard as far as the, um, you know, the skill sets or the abilities or the status of a business school is concerned. The AACSB by itself in their annual report has said that the data analytics uh, component within business schools, the courses within business schools has increased by 260%. What does that tell you? That tells you that at the core, management education by itself has to fundamentally grasp a lot of things. And this is something that AMT is, um, is actually doing. This is something that we are obviously, uh, what I would call as riding the tiger. You would hear about a students as well, um, you, know, uh, you know, whether they are in the entrepreneurial uh, arena, whether they are in the corporate world, a lot of our, um, you will hear a lot more about us in the innovation entrepreneurship space. Uh, and if any one of you would like to understand from us about how we can help you, the, how our innovation and incubation center can help you at IMT Gazia, but please feel free to reach out you know, to any one of us. You'll hear much more about us because we fundamentally believe that yes, while business schools uh, have been uh, providing a lot of corporate careers, the, uh, the, the the entrepreneurship arena, the innovation incubation arena is one arena, the startup arena is one arena where a lot more can be done by us as management education uh, institutions or business schools. And that's something that we're obviously committed to as we go forward. Tell us what, what else can we do for you. It's fundamentally very, very uh, important. Obviously, we gathered today to celebrate uh, um, our achievements. But this is also a time to reflect. This is also a time to reflect about what is it that we need to do as we go forward. We have to keep moving. We have to be able to imbibe um, newer understandings, newer skill sets, newer horizons per se, newer philosophies, uh, for example. Our worldviews have to change as we go forward. Because a lot of you here, you know, whether you are, um, you know, planning for the next 20, 30, 40 odd years of your careers, you have to realize fundamentally a lot of transformation exists. People will have multiple careers. People might have multiple roles all at the same time as we go forward. These are things and issues that every institution in the world, every government in the world is currently dealing with. How do you deal with employability? How do you deal with careers? How do you deal with sustainability as we go forward? So with your kind of learning, with your kind of skill sets, with your kind of um, networks, the holistic orientation. And I would also urge a lot of you to further build on your societal awareness as you go forward. These are fundamentally things that uh, will help you differentiate yourselves. Take a moment to thank everyone who has been involved in the decision of continuous learning, in your decision of continuous learning. 
thank everyone who's been involved and also had sleepless nights while you, you were possibly doing other things. Maybe you were doing your roles, your jobs or whatever else at the same time wanting to learn. Thank everyone because everyone counts in your transformation process, right? So all the best. I look forward to hearing about you as you go forward and as you fundamentally transform yourselves and the people around you and the society around you. Thank you, Ankita. Thank you so much for those kind words of advice, uh, Dr. Tilwar. Uh, it's, it's truly amazing. And I think the sense of pride that our students feel to be associated with a university like IMT is absolutely unparalleled. And it's also because of the kind of association that you talked about, the kind of learnings that you talked about, which is why our learners feel this way. So thank you so much for making time today and joining us. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now let's move on to the next segment. But before that, I want to ask all of you, and I'm going to be reading in the chat section right now, how many of you have taken a picture and posted on LinkedIn tagging IMT and Upgrad using the hashtag IMT and Upgrad valedictory ceremony? I'm going to be seeing the chat section right now to understand how many of you all have posted. My goodness, I think the chat section is buzzing right now. And I'm just so excited to see the excitement that all of you have. I'm going through the LinkedIn uh, you know, section right now. And I can see Brijesh's picture. I can see Hariharan's picture. Loving the smiles. And it is just so amazing to see such an enthusiastic batch. I'm going to keep looking forward to a lot of more pictures. Now, I need some more excitement for the next guest of honor that I call. Uh, our today's chief guest currently leads all functions of marketing at ThoughtWorks for India. His key responsibilities include scaling up ABM initiatives, elevating thought leadership, conceptualizing and driving key strategic initiatives, and to build a world-class team. In his previous role at VMware India, he led the Synergy Initiative and grew the business 7x in a span of just three years. As the Director of Marketing, he led all efforts for VMware in India and, SA, uh, and SARC region, working on brand strategy and execution, communication, digital demand generation, press and analyst relations, omni-channel, and partner marketing. He was a key member of VMware India leadership team. Prior to that, he has also held leadership positions at LinkedIn India, Sun Microsystem, Tech Mahindra, and Reliance Infocom. An alumnus of MIT Sloan School of Management, NXIBM Bhuvaneshwar, speaker at TEDx platform, conferred as the CMO of the year in 2012, honored as one of the most influential marketeer, and so on. I think... Um, without any further ado, I would like to call upon our guest of honor, A.L. Jagannath. It's truly, truly honored. I'm truly honored to have you among us uh, today, sir. Thank you so much. That's a really long uh, introduction for me, right? I don't maybe deserve <laughs> all of it, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Fantastic. So thank you very much. And again, um, hearty congratulations to everyone who's passing out today. <clears throat> I know it's a great uh, event event day for you. Uh, uh, this is something that you must be all looking forward to um, this day uh, as a big day for you all. Uh, so I was, I was asked to speak about 10 minutes to distill really what I've seen and what I could tell you as a, a validity session, right? So when I thought through, I broadly thought of two things, right? And all of multiple things just could be two things. And I'll talk to you about those things, which are primarily from my from my work life, what made me successful and how I see life, how I see that you know, it could be applicable to you as well. <clears throat> the first thing I like to talk to you about uh, is about comfort zones, right? Comfort zones are very happy, nice little places that all of us are usually in. We love to be there. We, you know, it's like nobody bothers us. It's my little bubble. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I don't, I don't need to be tested. I don't need to come out of it. I'm happy doing what I'm doing, right? Now, these comfort zones are like gravity. They pull you there every time. Strong, you know, they just keep you there. 
but is it the right place to be in, right? So this is something that I've seen uh, in my career, that, you know, how I push myself to come out of it. Now, comfort zones um, are really the places that nobody tests you, right? So you, you're happy not doing anything. The safe stuff happens. Just imagine if you were to do the safe, safe marketing campaign, what will you get? The safe results. And that's not what we are here for. All you folks, smart people who are passing out today, are going to make a lot of impact in your real lives and uh, in, in your careers and professions, right? Now, there are ways uh, where all of us need to break these shackles, right? So if you see my career, I've always pushed myself to do a different thing every time. Uh, I started making advertising, then moved on to telecom, then moved on to software services, hardware, so cloud, professional networks, multiple things, right? So every time I did uh, a different thing, I never repeated my role, I never repeated a, a, a job title, never repeated the category. Every time I pushed myself to learn something new. Why did I do it? I mean, I could have just been in advertising or in whatever I did at a point in time. I just continued, right? Had I continued, maybe I would have been an average Joe, an average marketing guy, an average uh, a person who would have just been as, as good as anybody else, right? All of us want to excel. And if you want to excel, you have to break and come out of a comfort zone. So <clears throat> that's really a critical thing that all of us need to ask every, every time in the morning, am I doing something different? Am I doing the most predictable thing? Am I just doing what is expected of me? All of us can have a career just pass by just doing the normal safe stuff. Push yourself to come out. Push yourself to come out. Try and do something different. It can be as simple as... Uh, taking a different route to the office every day, right? Or doing, uh, cooking something a diff little differently every time. As simple as that. I mean, just come out of comfort zones because if you don't do it, the guy next to you in your cubicle, he's trying, some, trying to do something different and he'll excel and he'll move, move ahead of you. So you don't want to be caught napping. Life is changing. Look at this, right? When I started my career, it was at early days of, uh, early days of internet. We just barely had email. We were just, I mean, a lot of things were not even there. I mean, we had a group email ID and there were routers that made a noise, those kind of stuff. And today, look at this, in about maybe 20, 25 years, life has changed. There's chat GPT coming and knocking and which is probably taking our jobs. Do you want to be complacent? Do you want to be still doing stuff that is the same thing again and again? Um, and, you know, uh, whatever, right? So now it is really, I urge you all to move out, break the shackles, come out of it and try to do something different. Now I'll talk to you some, about some, the second aspect that really helped me in my career and really uh, brought a lot of focus in my life. This is work ethic. Now, what, what is work ethic? Work ethic, work ethic is primarily a set of morals, or principles, or values that you bring to work, right? So it is, it is about who you are at a workplace. A workplace need not necessarily be official workplace. A workplace can be, when I say work ethic, it can manifest in multiple ways. In how you deal with people, how you deal with your parents, how you deal with your friends, colleagues, girlfriends, wives, children, anybody, right? It is about how you approach a particular thing. Now, work ethic is extremely critical, more so from a professional perspective, because people with great work ethic, right, are the people who are liked. Suppose I'm just giving an example. Ram is a person who's got a great work ethic. He's, he's dependable. He is he's productive. He's, he meets his deadlines. He brings his best self to his work. He, he's his guys he's somebody who's you know who's going to put his best effort all the time an example of sham now sham is a guy with poor work ethic the poor work ethic means do less less attention to details not meeting deadlines not um, uh, responsible enough those are, so who would you who would you bet your uh, you know bet your career bet your job on we'll obviously go with ram ram is a guy so there is nothing called in between either you've got good at work ethic or you got bad work ethic so work ethic is really something that I really want to focus, I wanted to all focus on because it's something that we take for granted. We just feel, okay, it's, it's something that is ignored, right? So work ethic will really propel and make you a differentiated individual. It'll help you build your own personal brand. It'll help you build leadership skills. It is all about how you how you come to work, how you show up, how do you, how do you approach. It could be a small problem as, you know, uh, the small PowerPoint slides that you need to make or a big strategy that you make it. Everything requires amount of work ethic. So if you, in some ways, what I spoke to you about, about comfort zones and work ethic, they're somewhere related, right? If you don't come out of comfort zones, you don't test yourself, you don't push yourself, 
if you're not disciplined, if you don't have the right work ethic, it is somehow all of these are connected. And I think I want you to urge you to really keep these two attributes, traits, or whatever you might call them <clears throat> in mind as you approach, as you take your big steps into your professional lives, as you move out of this, there will be a lot of challenges. Life is changing. I mean, things are changing at a pace that is unprecedented, right? Business models are changing. Our jobs have changed. Our job content has changed. What was marketing 10 years ago is completely different from what marketing is now today. Which means that if we don't adapt, we perish. Like Darwin's simple theory, right? If we adapt or perish. So we have to push ourselves. We have to keep learning. If you're complacent, you are falling behind. Your, your peer is moving ahead and you lose in life, right? So with that, I'd like to uh, uh, stop here. But again, take this opportunity to congratulate you. Um, on this big day. Uh, may you all be very successful in your lives and your careers. Um, I'm sure you've taken the right decision, but one as a leap, as a leap, I just want to tell you one more thing that please continue to learn. At least the link doesn't stop. Um, apply your learning. It is not about putting your designations on LinkedIn and trying to uh, put a line there, but it is much beyond that. If you don't apply all that you've learned into your real work, real lives, then it's actually no meaning and it's a waste of waste of effort. So I said that um, simple two principles, great, uh, break your comfort zones and have great work ethic. I'm sure you'll see miracles. Uh, thanks, Mangatistan. Thanks once again for this opportunity to address you all. Um, very, the very best to you and um, all the very best. Thank you so much. Thanks for the opportunity. Back to you, Ankita. Thank you so much, Mr. Jagannath. Uh, your words of advice is something that I think has really inspired our learners, uh, and which is why a lot of them who are working professionals, who are, uh, you know, you know, they have a family, they have a lot of other commitments, yet they have taken a dual program. So, um, Mr. Jagannath, I would also like to let you know that the learners who joined us today, uh, a lot of them, in fact, 50% of them have actually taken up a dual uh, program, which means that they are currently, they've completed their INT course. And they are now moving on to do the next leg uh, of the course, which is the global MBA. So the, the grit, the hard work, the perseverance, um, it shows. And just like you said, I think that is essentially the theme of this particular validatory ceremony today, where we are celebrating the hard work, getting out of the comfort zone and, you know, facing every challenge head on. And then is when we'll be able to at least fall close to the kind of trajectory that you have uh, had in your career. But thank you so much, um, sir, for joining in today and removing time for our learners, for all of us. Really honored to have you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. All the very best again. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um, I was going through the chat section and while I was very excited to be a part of the validatory ceremony. I thought all of you all will be very, very uh, excited. And I'll see the excitement in the chat section, but I'm hardly seeing any excitement. So I need a lot of shout outs. I need all of you to tell me uh, the kind of challenges, the difficulties that you have faced head on. Like Mr. Jagannath said that the most important thing that can keep you ahead of the curve is staying out of your comfort zone, which I think all of you are a testament of. I can see Rahul who said that he had a wonderful journey. In spite of busy office schedule, he was able to make it. Yes, um, all of you are working professionals. All of you must be having family commitments, uh, a lot of other commitments, right? But you made, your, made up your mind. You took up the challenge of doing the course. A lot of you are, in fact, doing the dual program as well. Um, we have seen, I think this is probably my third or fourth uh, valedictory ceremony for IMT itself. And um, I feel a sense of pride being a part of this ceremony because this, this particular course, the learners who are a part of this are the most hardworking batches because MBA is not something that just happens overnight. Uh, it takes a lot of courage, takes a lot of learnings, takes a lot of hard work to reach where all of you have. So I want to read all your stories. So I request all of you, uh, we have a batch of over 2,600 joining in today. I want to read all your stories. I want to know um, 
how your journey was, your learning journey was, what are the challenges that you faced, who helped you in your journey, how did you overcome it? Let's celebrate all of these challenges that you faced and let's truly, truly discuss it. Okay. While all of you are doing that, I know I'm making you do a lot of hard work, but I think it's a part of being uh, in the learning journey, right? So while some of you are uh, posting and talking about your journey, I want all of you to show some excitement even on social media. Let me know which one I'm talking about. Yes, it's LinkedIn. I am not seeing a lot of posts right now. And it's really disappointing because I thought that all of you are the excited batch and which is why I'm coming, bringing in so much excitement. So use the hashtag, I'm, hashtag IMT and upgrade valedictory ceremony. You can see on the screen, you will find the uh, AR filter on Instagram. The link has been pinned. Click on that, take a picture and share it on LinkedIn using the hashtag. And don't forget to tag IMT and upgrad. All right. Now, now I can, I want to see some more excitement. Where is the excitement? Okay, I can see a lot of you have now started uh, commenting. So keep that going. And now I'm going to call upon a very, very special person among us. Uh, it is an absolute honor to call this particular person. He is the leader of all of us at Upgrad. We look up to him for constant guidance and support. He's the MD and co-founder of Upgrad. Let me welcome Mayam Kumar to the valedictory ceremony of INT, please. Hi. Thanks, thank, you, thank you very much. Thanks, thanks. Thank you, guys. And uh, while, look, uh, uh, can I just get the, the YouTube link also on the side? I can just check the YouTube comments. Uh, but uh, first of all, uh, many congratulations to all of you guys. Uh, I know it's a, it's a massive moment um, for... Uh, for all of you today to be graduating from the program, uh, for many, they may be thinking, thank God it's over. For many would be looking at it as positively that, look, there's a lot more for you to look forward going going in the future. For many, it would be like, all the work is now over. Now I can go back, relax and uh, put my feet up. But guys, look, uh, whatever, the, whatever kind of uh, feeling you are at right now today, uh, many, many, many congratulations because uh, you guys deserve all the kudos and all the credit uh, for going through the program successfully. Uh, because I can easily say that uh, no matter what you guys are doing, you are spending enough time over and above uh, what you have uh, as part of your work. So I don't know how, how, how many hours you guys spend on your work. Uh, uh, but even if you're spending 50, 60 hours, you guys have spent 10, 15 hours over and above that to go through the program and, and finish the program on time. Uh, so it's a, uh, it's a massive moment of... Um, um, a massive moment for all of you guys uh, because you have now successfully completed the program and uh, hopefully uh, all the hard work and all the challenges as uh, Yogesh has mentioned uh, is going to go down uh, in a very, very serious way uh, to help you uh, succeed in the in the overall career journey. So look, I mean, I think when we, uh, when we ask about uh, this particular uh, uh, valedictory ceremony, uh, many a times we just figure out what... Uh, uh, what is this about? And every time I always think uh, that, uh, uh, that, look, I mean, they have gotten all the gyan already. They have gotten all the hard skill. Again, five minutes, 10 minutes extra is just uh, too much uh, for all of them to go through once again. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, while, all, I mean, while, while all of you guys have gone through this, I just thought that it would be helpful if I could share uh, from my own experience what has helped me in my own career. Because if I can share what has helped me on my own career, I'm sure that uh, this will add to, to your own journey also. But before I move in that direction, I just want to just highlight also, uh, because I just saw a comment earlier, that getting out of this particular program, while all of you guys should be congratulated, uh, please do not forget uh, that there is somebody at your home uh, who worked equally hard as you did uh, to successfully complete the program. There's somebody in your um, how somebody where you are staying, you're working with your colleagues, your friends, your family, uh, they were all there uh, to work closely with you and ensure that you are getting the right outcome because they, your family members have also equally sacrificed 
to see all of you go, growing in the career and finishing your own career journey so uh, so again as much as a congratulation is due to you guys uh, there is a massive congratulation due to your family members and your uh, uh, sort of close one who have equally sacrificed um, uh, going through the entire journey along with you so now today um, i just thought i'll share some of the learnings that I, that has helped me in my own career uh, and uh, um, if um, uh, if i can just sort of share those uh, some of this would be relevant some of them may not be relevant but uh, hopefully this adds to your own sort of journey uh, and you can take up something some of these things uh, in the, in the in the process as well now uh, for me there are i mean this is something i was just writing down a few days back uh, in one of my interviews with one of the journalists to ask this question that uh, uh, what has helped you grow in your own career and what has helped you stay steady in your own career so i have the following uh, four or five messages i will not give a long back story around it but just at least share the right kind of messages so that you guys can take it back uh, the first one guys that everybody looks for peaks and everybody looks for something good in your own journey uh, uh, but no matter what happens uh, consistency always beats short lived hard work or talent or intelligence um, and that's something that you guys should all take away because no matter what you do you will always be told that look i need to be great at something i need to be uh, best at something uh, but whatever that you are doing just do it consistently if you do it consistently it will any day any day beat uh, any kind of hard work any kind of talent that you have any kind of intelligence you have the ability to show up every day matters a lot more uh, so if one thing you guys can take back from today is yes you did this program and you did a phenomenal job and you are out of the program now you are back onto your work life and looking at growing and scaling up but uh, you know that uh, whatever in in the with whichever company that you are working in whichever career that you are in just show up every day because consistency will always trump your own brilliance your own excellence your own intelligence your own talent your own short lived hard work just do it consistently just show up every day and half of the journey is uh, uh, is over for for you guys uh, now my second sort of key point today for taking away is uh, uh, many of you have gone through this journey and have taken up this step uh, from your busy schedule for doing a particular program from scratch um uh, and many of you would make excuses many of you would make excuses that look are yaar abhi i don't have time i can't finish it off there is lot of work to be done and i don't feel excited about getting this thing done uh, because in your career guys uh, in your life also uh, you have to get out of the habit of making excuses because you are the only one accountable for whatever that you do so if i can ask you all to today at the end of this graduation valedictory ceremony if you guys can take that pledge that i will not make any excuses because at the end of the day whatever that you are do you are accountable for your own career you are the only one accountable for your own sort of growth journey you are the only one accountable for your own life so please stop making excuses take charge take control and go out and win the world uh, the third one that i just want which has helped me a lot uh, uh, is uh, something that you all all of you pick up from sports uh, is uh, that whenever you are playing something whenever you are sort of participating in something you need to push yourself into that uncomfortable zone the more you push yourself into the uncomfortable zone you will come out very very strong so if you want to come out stronger get yourself in uncomfortable situation you taking up this particular program enabled you to uh, get in an uncomfortable situation which has helped you uh, in coming out of this program successfully you yourself took your comfortable life and put yourself in an uncomfortable situation and you will see the benefit of that going forward also please always look at putting yourself in uncomfortable situation because the more you are out of your comfort zone the stronger you will come out and better you will come out and your career will grow in the entire sort of journey uh, the last one from me is uh, uh, while this program has gotten over so you would expect uh, uh that now things will get easier uh, you will have more time you will have more sort of uh, um uh, flexibility in doing what you want to do uh, the only thing i can tell you having run upgrade for the last 7 uh, 8 years is that things don't get easier but you have to grow stronger so guys the last point that i want to just leave you with is that uh, 
Do not expect things to get easier. Expect that you yourself have to grow stronger because if you grow stronger, all the future challenges that will come to you on your career and in your own life is going to get overcome just by the sheer attitude that you will have that I'm not waiting for things to get easier. I'm only waiting to for myself to become stronger and the stronger I am, I'm, I will be able to overcome all the journey in the future. So guys, I'm just going to sort of uh, leave you with these messages that whatever that you do, focus on consistently doing the work, consistently showing up. Uh, stop making any kind of excuse. Hold yourself accountable for everything that you do. Get yourself into uncomfortable situation and uncomfortable position because that's when you will come out stronger. And do not expect things to get easier. Expect yourself to get stronger. So wish you all the best and many, many, many congratulations for successfully completing the program. I know it's just a starting point. Uh, our journey does not end there uh, with for you guys uh, uh, with IMT or with uh, Upgrad. The journey has just about started. Uh, ensure that wherever, at whatever point of time you need help, we are always there. Um, you, I mean, the institution is there. Upgrad is there. We'll always be there to provide you any kind of support and any kind of help. Uh, but uh, uh, enjoy today. Uh, Give all of yourself a pat on your back. Uh, spend a nice Saturday with your family members and your friends uh, because starting tomorrow and starting Monday next week, uh, you're back on the same grill and the same sort of drill. So go out and enjoy, ensure that you come out from all of these things at the peak of your own career. Thank you very much and many congratulations once again to all of you guys. Thank you so much for your kind uh, words, uh, Mayank. I think Three takeaways, I'll just once again uh, reiterate. Consistency, taking charge, taking control, and growing stronger despite all odds that you face in your life. Um, Mayank, I will encourage you to read our chat section and yeah, read yeah. the kind of stories that um, all our learners uh, you know, have to talk about. In fact, yeah. I was just reading where uh, our learner, Roshan, he completed the IMT phase during while he was going through his marriage ceremony. In fact, he attended a live session on the marriage day. That is the kind of commitment that our learners have and the excitement with which uh, and the grit that they have to complete um, the course, right? So thank you so much. Well, and well, again, uh, and, and, uh, uh, I can wish everybody all the best. And look, guys, uh, this is just the start of your, your relationship with Upgrad and with IMT Gaziabad. Ensure that you are leveraging that and it's not the end. So I will not say bye-bye. I will say welcome and welcome uh, as part of the alumni group. And uh, let's have a lot more e equally interesting and engaging interactions going forward as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for making time and joining us uh, today, Mayank. Pleasure to have Thank you. you. Thank Bye. you. All right. So um, I can't stop smiling because the more I'm reading these journeys of all of you, the kind of hard work that all of you have put together, some of you attending marriage ceremonies and attending live sessions, uh, some of you attending sessions while being in office during meetings. Um, it's amazing how you've juggled so many important commitments in your life. And I think uh, with two of our speakers who've come in and spoken about, you know, showing up being consistent, taking control, taking charge, and getting out of comfort zone. I think all of you over here should take immense pride of actually doing all of these things regularly in your career, in your life. Truly, truly honored to be among all of you as well. Now, uh, with this, I actually request all of you to fill details for the yearbook as well. Um, like I told you, the valedictory ceremony this time, looking at all of you, getting inspired by all of you, the hard work that you put in, we decided to fill this ceremony with immense number of surprises. And one happens to be your book. So all the ones who've not filled in the yearbook, quickly um, <clears throat> click on the link that has been pasted in the chat section right about now and uh, fill in all your details. Talk about the experience that you had doing this particular course. <clears throat> this is going to be a part of a yearbook which we will be sharing batch-wise with all of you. It's, a, it's going to be a memorabilia which you can take home and cherish much later in your life as well and share it with your friends and family as well. So don't forget to uh, fill the yearbook. Now, moving on to 
one of the most exciting segment of the ceremony, which is the award ceremony. Now, in this segment, I would like to uh, call upon a very special guest to talk about the achievements, celebrate the achievements. Among us today, we have Professor Richa Saxena, who is the Associate Professor of Human Resource Management at IMT Ghaziabad. She is also the current chairperson of the PGDM program for working executives. She has done her doctorate from IIM Ahmedabad and MBA from Devi Hilya Vishwa Vidyalaya Indore. She has more than 15 years of experience in industry and academia. As visiting faculty, she has taught at India's ACE B school like IIM, IIM Kozikot, IIM Indore, IIM Amritsar, IIM Rachi, etc. She is also a prolific researcher and has published in reputed international and national journals. She has also presented research papers in various contemporary careers, career success, gender issues in management, diversity, change management, and learning in organization development. Without any further ado, I would like to call upon Professor Richa Saxena to join us and lead the award ceremony, please. Thank you for joining us today, ma'am. Thank you, Ankita, uh, for such an elaborate introduction. Uh, um, and I'm really, really, you know, thrilled to uh, get into this section wherein, uh, you know, the fruits of sweet labor are going to be shared with the learners. So in this section, some of you have achieved exceptional results. And uh, today, I really feel honored to felicitate these proud awardees. Um, so first of all, I would like to start with the top performer award. Uh, this award recognizes those students who had uh, best academic performance and have scored the highest CGPA in their respective programs. So it's a, it's a sheer testament of their hard work and dedication. So uh, I would like to uh, show those award winners name on screen. Uh, Rahul Chaudhary from C14. Sadhana Samanta from C15, Kevin D'Souza C16, Sugandha Goyal C17, Ritu Shukla C18, Nikita Brahmbhat C19, Gaurav Tejwani C20, Samir Dawn C21, Palak Chaturvedi C22, Pratik N C23. Hearty congratulations to all the winners. You really deserve the greatest honors which are being bestowed on you. Next up is the next set of awards, which is Inspiring Women Award. There is nothing that she can't achieve once she sets her mind to it. From meeting deadlines to raising a family and working relentlessly at her job. These are women, very special women who have inspired not only us, but also their peers. Their fierce determination is as astonishing as it, co it is commendable. So here are the winners of our Inspiring Women category. A big round of applause to all of them. The next award category is for Gotten Upgrade. This award specially is curated and it goes to those people who were able to transition to another role or get a promotion while pursuing this course. Now that is something really, really amazing because it needs immense level of uh, dedication as well as hard work. So congratulations to all the winners. Hope you all are continuing growing in your own professions. The final set of award is about Networking Guru Award. Uh, this award goes to the learners who have actively participated in the discussion forum to answer academic questions and guide fellow students on career-related decisions. Uh, these are the people who have definitely shown more of the teamwork and you know, collegiality and all that. And the winners of this award are, you can see them on the screen. So a big round of applause for them also. I'm really, really proud of each, of, each one of you. And uh, with these winners, we come to the end of the award ceremony. I want to congratulate personally each one of the winners. I want, uh, you know, 
to thank each one of them for their uh, kind uh, uh, you know hard work dedication and their you know uh, their ability to put forward their best foot your performance is really inspiring and exceptional uh, to all of you once again congratulations you have achieved something really really remarkable something exceptional and uh, i hope that you will keep on continue doing this you will be making the most of this achievement and i know that you have that zeal that zing in you which will help you in soaring higher and you know better um, milestones in your life so once again congratulations and all the best to all of you over to you ankita thank you so much ma'am for joining us today and honoring the awards for all our learners um i would request you to go through the chat section uh the excitement that the learners are uh, kind of maintaining i'm sure this is the kind of ex excitement that they must be uh, showing even in their classes uh, i'm sure they miss all the professors uh the journey that they've had with all of you with the mentors uh it's something that we all remember and it's a part of our life right which we never forget so and and which is why we give so much importance to all our teachers because they are the reasons they are the main reason as to why we are what we are today the learning oh, yes. the so these are the wonderful chats i am re reading wherein people are uh, actually uh, you know they are uh, dedicating their uh, best performers to their family members and all that and definitely Absolutely. no performance can be complete without the support systems which they do have so Absolutely. really really uh, you know nice achievements and uh, definitely this uh, these awards the sole winners are not the ones who are only getting announced here but definitely the the number of people who were behind all those success stories are also to be applauded so a, a big uh, round of applause for all of them also their family members and their extended support systems absolutely absolutely thank you thank you, you so much ma'am for joining us today all right so like ma'am said i think it takes a village to raise a child and just that way is where i feel all of you i was just again reading the chat section reading all your stories uh reading your experience and i realized that i'm sure to achieve an outcome like this to achieve uh, a milestone like this it's not possible rather not easy to do this all by yourself uh, it is only because of the family support the kind of uh, you know commitment that they are also showing uh, in your career to make you move forward which is why we all are here today to celebrate your journey your achievement so keep pouring in your journeys um once again congratulations to all the awardees um one thing that i've learned in my life is um while of course uh, winning an award is is a great achievement something that you will always remember and cherish by but um i also want to congratulate everyone else for the hard work that they've put in uh you know the kind of uh, you know commitment that they've shown and i'll keep on and on uh kind of congratulating you because it's truly truly commendable the kind of hard work that all of you have put in all right now just to celebrate this we have a music performance for you but i am not going to talk about it until i see some excitement in the chat section from all of you i want a lot of claps i want a lot of hearts i want to see some sort of excitement before i move to the next segment also i have been seeing a lot of happy faces um it really brought a huge smile on my face when i saw mahavir prasad mahapatra's picture with the graduation cap on linkedin it truly truly brought a huge smile on my face um we are preparing something special for you like i told you this particular ceremony is filled with a lot of surprises and it's truly a unique one so don't forget to use use the hashtag imt and upgrad valedictory ceremony and tag imt and upgrad because in case if you have uploaded your picture on linkedin using the uh, ar filter and you've not used the hashtag we'll not be able to find the lovely picture of you so ensure that you use the hashtag and upload an amazing amazing picture of yourself all right now for the next segment 
we have someone very, very, very special among us today. Like I told you, um, there's going to be music performance. Um, I think some of you might already know who that is because I do know uh, we put this on the uh, website. Any guesses? Wow, amazing to see the excitement. Okay, so we have a very distinguished music performance by one of the most upcoming bands in the country. Let's welcome Salman Elahi, who's a Mumbai-based singer-songwriter who primarily sings and writes in Urdu or Hindi language. His song, Pahado Me has been loved by over 20 million people in the world and counting. He released his first EP called Shan in 2020. He believes in expressing his thoughts about life and self-discovery through his music. Pretty much what's the theme of this particular valedictory ceremony. Welcome to the valedictory ceremony, Salman. Honor thank you so much. Likewise, thank you so much for inviting me for this beautiful event and uh, for the beautiful introduction as well. And I would like to congratulate to all the learners from IMT and Upgrades PG program in management for completing the course. And it's a huge day for all of you. So make time for yourself, give, treat yourself and chutti vitti lege ghar jao aur thoda sa pahad vahad ghoom karao. Aur usse pehle mere saath kuch music karte hai. To tayar hai aap sare? आप मुझे कमेंट्स में बता सकते हैं Who has this? Has this? Ankita. हाँ, सेम क्वेश्चन आई एम ऑल्सो आस्किंग हु हैज हर्ड माई सॉन्ग सो यू कैन गाइज टेल मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ओके यस 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 सो मेनी यस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच सो फर्स्ट सॉन्ग आई एम गोना सिंग एंड आई एम जस्ट गोना प्ले सम रेफ और कॉर्ड फ्रॉम दैट सॉन्ग यू हैव टू गेस द सॉन्ग ओके Any guesses? You can put your uh, put the song name in the comment section. Okay, so this song is called Kabira, which I wrote back in uh, 2020. 2016 something this was the third song of my album so here we go kabira for you guys yes kabira teri bani mein amrit behta jaye kabira teri bani mein amrit behta jaye are jo bhi tujhko paaye वो तेरा ही हो जाए तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना 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 तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना 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 तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना ना ताना ना ताना ना 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 तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना 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 तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना 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 तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना ना ताना ना ताना ना 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 कबीरा खड़ा बाजार में मांगे सबकी खैर कबीरा खड़ा बाजार में मांगे सबकी खैर अरे ना कहू से दोस्ती और ना कहू से बैर बैर कबीरा तेरी बाणी में अमृत बहता जाए कबीरा तेरी बाणी में अमृत बहता जाए अरे जो भी तुझको पाए वो तेरा ही हो जाए तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना 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 तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना 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 तुम तुम तारा तुम तारा ना ना तारा ना तारा ना 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 बुरा जो देखन मैं निकला बुरा न मिले आ कोई If 
बुरा जो देखन मैं निकला बुरा न मिले आ कोई अरे जो मन खो जा अपना तो मुझसे बुरा न कोई 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 कबीरा तेरी पानी में अमृत बहता जाए दुर्बल को ना सताए जाकी मोटी हाय दुर्बल को ना सताए जाकी मोटी हाय जैसे मोई काल की धोकनी से लोहा भस्म हो जाए 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 कबीरा तेरी पानी में अमृत बहता जाए कबीरा तेरी वाणी में अमृत बहता जाए अरे जो भी तुझको पाए वो तेरा ही हो जाए तुम तुम तारा तुम तना तुम तुम तारा तुम तना तुम तुम तारा तुम तना 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 कबीरा 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 तेरी वाणी इस दुनिया की रानी जो बोले तेरी वाणी सब माने उसको ज्ञानी कबीरा 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 तेरी वाणी इस दुनिया की रानी जो बोले तेरी वाणी सब माने उसको ज्ञानी तुम तुम तारा तुम तना तुम तुम तारा तुम तना तुम तुम तारा तुम तना 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 थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू आई होप आपको पसंद आया आप कमेंट्स में मुझसे बात कर सकते हैं और जो भी क्वेश्चन है वो भी पूछ सकते हैं आ, मजा आ रहा है आप सबको शुक्रिया फयाज शुक्रिया वुड लव टू हियर इन अ कॉन्सर्ट समे फॉर श्योर आई एम परफॉर्मिंग इन हैदराबाद तो एंड दिल्ली नेक्स्ट मंथ तो अगर आप वहाँ पर हैं तो वहाँ पर मुझे सुन सकते हैं लाइव तनुश्री थैंक यू सो मच तनुश्री थैंक यू योर वॉइस इज फाइनली थैंक यू ऋत्विक थैंक यू विकीपीडिया थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच आई कैन सी द ब्यूटिफुल कमेंट्स इन कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द लव एंड अगले गाने की तरफ बढ़ते हैं जो गाना आई होप आपने सुना होगा उस गाने का नाम मैं एक रिफ प्ले करूँगा आपको बताना है Any guess? Ronak, you guy. Yeah, you're right, Ronak. Oh, so many right guesses. Like so. तो गाते हैं पहाड़ों में साथ में. Yes, इस गाने का नाम है पहाड़ों में. ये मैंने रिलीज किया था 2020 में. और first of all, thank you so much to all of you. for being here and being a wonderful audience you guys are listening and this is all i want as an artist so thank you so much for listening me and thank you so much for inviting me and congratulation again to all of you it's a huge day for you for all of you pat yourself and give a treat yourself so akhri gaane ki taraf badhte hain iska naam hai pahadon mein here we go मेरा दिल कई दो पहाड़ों में खो गया मेरा दिल कई दूर पहाड़ों में खो गया उससे मेले हुए मुझको तो अरसा हो गया आप लोग गा सकते हैं साथ में बट मैं यहां से देख तो नहीं सकता बट आप कमेंट में टाइप कर सकते हैं आई होप आप साथ में गा रहे हैं मेरे मेरा दिल कई दूर पहाड़ों में खो गया मेरा दिल कई दूर पहाड़ों में खो गया उससे मेरे हुए मुझको तो अरसा हो गया अरे कोई तो जाओ उसको बुलाओ अरे कोई तो जाओ उसको बुलाओ न माने तो उसको डांट भी लगाओ मेरा दिल 
कहीं दूर पहाड़ों में खो गया सपनों में मेरे वो रोज आता और जाता है वो अपने मुझको भी रोज बुलाता है सपनों में मेरे वो रोज आता और जाता है वो अपने मुझको भी रोज बुलाता है अब कैसे बताऊं इन शहरों का हो गया हूं इस भीड़ भाड़ में कहीं खो गया हूं मेरा दिल कहीं दूर पहाड़ों में खो गया मेरा दिल कहीं दूर पहाड़ों में खो गया उससे मेले हुए मुझको तो अरसा हो गया मेरा दिल कहीं दूर पहाड़ों में खो गया थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच कैसा लगा आपको गाना आप मुझे कमेंट्स के थ्रू बता सकते हैं और थैंक यू सो मच दैट्स ऑल आई हैव फॉर यू गाइस फॉर टुडे एंड अगेन मेनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर कंप्लीटिंग योर कोर्स सो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस टुडे सलमान ऑनेस्टली आई हैव होस्टेड एंड अटेंडेड अ लॉट ऑफ वैलिडिटरी सेरेमनीज बट दिस इज द मोस्ट एक्साइटिंग uh i would say audience that have excited audience that i've seen so far where the excitement is flowing in for you i think you should definitely post something for all the love that all the learners are showing because i think uh, there is some sort of plan that is being made now where all the imt folks will now uh, after completing their course will now go to manali <laughs> thank uh- you and for the influence you said <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much for having me this uh, this is one of the i usually uh, do very few online gigs and when i do like this kind of audience i like this is amazing because i am seeing the comments and uh, the excitement they are doing the, the love they are showing to me it's amazing thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much for thank having you me thank, thank you sanman thank you it was lovely thank you thank you All right. So this is amazing. This is absolutely perfect. Uh I I think I'll not be able to stop smiling the entire day looking at how excited all of you are. Um honestly truly very very excited to host this particular ceremony for such an excited batch. Uh I hope all of you all enjoyed this special segment that we kept keeping in mind the kind of uh, you know journey that you had. it's almost like pahar right where there are ups and downs but all of you are basically climbing up that's exactly what all of you are doing right i hope you enjoyed and uh, i was also seeing a lot of pictures on uh, linkedin i think um, all of you should talk about your journey that uh, you know you all were talking in the chat section on linkedin because uh, each one of you have had such an inspiring journey till now uh managing so many things it definitely deserves to be heard by the world by the audience who's outside to set you as an example uh to set you as the testament of hard work of being consistent of taking up challenge despite all odds the difficult times that everybody is going through right now in the tough market uh and being so strong it definitely definitely deserves a lot of celebration so i encourage you that while you are posting your pictures with the graduation cap talk about the journey that you've had uh doing this particular course right and don't forget to use hashtag imtn upgrad valedictory uh, ceremony because um 
you know, IMT professors would love to read the journey that you've had with them. Uh, all of us at Upgrad would love to read your journey. And I'm sure your entire community out there would also like to read the kind of journey and get inspired, you know, by your story. So don't forget to post a lovely picture of yourself using the link that has been pinned in the chat section and use the hashtag IMT and Upgrad Valedictory Ceremony. And don't forget to tag Upgrad and IMT. And we are waiting to read all your lovely stories on LinkedIn. Okay. Now, uh, we want to read or rather we want to hear all the stories that all of you uh, have had. I wish I could call upon uh, the 2,600 plus learners um, online today and listen to each and every story. But unfortunately, since it's an online uh, graduate, you know, a valedictory ceremony, uh, we can't do that. Now, it's not very long time back that, there, you know, all of you were in the same position uh, where you all were learning, you all were struggling, but you all were overcoming the challenges, feeling the same emotions as you are right now. Now, we actually wanted to call all of you. And uh, since we'll be overshooting time, we've decided to call upon two of our very special alumni to share their story, their journey with all of you. I would like to call upon the first valedictorian who is Gaurav Tijwani, who is a senior manager at Accenture, please, to talk about his journey, talk about what his entire uh, experience has been like. Thank you and uh, hello everyone. A warm welcome to the online valedictory ceremony for the advanced leadership program uh, offered by Upgrad and IMT Ghaziabad. Congratulations to all my fellow graduates of 2022 batch. And yes, we all made it. Uh, I'm honored to speak on behalf of my, of my batch and express uh, our gratitude to those who supported us in this challenging but rewarding journey. To the faculty members from the IMT Ghaziabad and the teaching assistants, thank you for all the guidance, encouragement, and insightful feedback that help us develop our leadership skills and broaden our perspectives. I would also like to thank our program buddy and fellow students who made the learning experience more engaging and enjoyable. Uh, together, we shared our experiences, challenges, ideas, and inspirations and formed the supportive community that transcended geographical boundaries and time zones. As a commerce graduate with a Lean Six Sigma background, I was excited to take on the advanced leadership program and learn from the best in the industry. Through this program, I gained the practical insights, tools, and frameworks that will help me become a more effective leader and make a positive impact on my organization and society. Uh, lastly, I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to Upgrad and IMT Ghaziabad for offering this exceptional program and creating a platform for lifelong learning and growth. Your commitment to excellence and innovation has inspired us to aim for higher and achieve our goals. Thank you once again and congratulations to all my fellow graduates. Let's go forth and lead the purpose, passion and compassion. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Gaurav, for your uh, speech. Uh, I'm sure uh, your family members have joined you as well. Uh, unfortunately, none of the family members could make it, but uh, I, I definitely want to pass on my uh, heartfelt uh, you know, thanks to my family member because without their support, it would have not been possible. So uh, uh, it, it's, a, it's a long journey and uh, all of us uh, you know, work together to achieve what we have achieved. So Absolutely. Yes, I think you, you. Should, you should share this link uh, with your loved ones. Uh, I'm sure uh, the kind of pride that they'll have to see that, you know, their friend, their son, their brother, the kind of achievement that uh, he has had, uh, despite the kind of challenges I'm sure you must have faced because you're a working professional um, and, you know, the kind of commitments that you might, might be having and juggling and managing your studies while uh, maintaining your professional and personal life as well. So uh, kudos to you and the commitment that you've shown. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you. All right. We will now move on to the next valedictorian. Uh, let me call upon Lakshmi Pujual, who is the project head at 
जर्नी I take great pride in being a graduate of this postgraduate program and I must say I've learned a lot. Uh currently I oversee projects and human resources department in my company and this program surely has empowered me with the uh, right tools and knowledge necessary to you know make informed decisions and gain a holistic uh, understanding of business world. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank the uh, faculty members of IUP and Abrad for the invaluable guidance and support throughout our program and a special thanks to our abrad buddy for putting up with us and keeping our utmost patience and proactively resolving all our queries uh, i would like to express my sincere gratitude to my family for really standing by me and ensuring that i get all the time i need uh, to dedicate to this course and uh, definitely keeping me away from all the distractions and you know as i look back uh, into this journey i know it wasn't easy for any any of us there were moments where you know workload was overwhelming there were family exigencies and countless obstacles and yet here we are today right so i think if we are determined enough there's nothing that can stop us uh, from achieving what we want so once again uh, congratulations to all my friends here today happy graduation and i'm really proud of everyone here today thank you Thank you so much for joining us today, Lakshmi, uh, and sharing your experience. I hope you're enjoying your uh, valedictory ceremony today. Absolutely, absolutely. So are my family. They are all excited uh, seeing me on screen today. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Truly, truly excited to have you as one of our valedictorians for this particular ceremony. And thank you for joining us today and sharing your experience. um i would like for you to uh, you know speak some words even in the chat section as well where all your batchmates have joined in and i'll definitely encourage you uh, and in fact not just you all our award winners to uh, definitely post on uh, linkedin talking about the experience that you've had um reading all these stories is really really inspiring me now to do one more course so uh, thank you for inspiring all of us thank you thank you all right uh with that um i think i'm feeling a little sad because uh, the exciting uh valedictory ceremony is coming to an end um i wish i could meet all of you in person i do know uh, a lot of you were asking if uh, we could do an offline ceremony uh duly noted and definitely we will be trying to you know organize some sort of an offline meet if nothing for all of you and i would love to meet all of you in person as well um thank you so much for showing this sort of an excitement now um couple of announcements as you become an alumni i know a lot of you are pursuing your next leg of the course that is either doing your global mba program with dkn or liverpool business school um good luck and uh, very very excited to host that valedictory ceremony as well once you complete that leg of your journey as well for all the ones who have done completed their imt journey and go on to become an alumni you will be having a lot of benefits such as access to uh, a platform called as uh, upgrad alumni network uh, the ones who are an alumni there will be a separate email sent to all of you the ones who are still in the learn phase of course once you complete your entire program or uh, the dual program that's when we'll be sharing it with you and um, of course you will now have access to a lot of exciting rise uh, learning sessions upskilling sessions a lot of career support for your interview prep for any kind of coaching guidance that you might need we have alumni mentorship as well where we have alumni from your community who are at really senior positions from different domains joining us so um, you are now like mayan said your journey is not ended your journey has in fact begun so there are a lot of exciting things in store and exciting things in your career as well now i would like to end this ceremony 
by inviting uh, Dr. Sapna Tyagi to give the vote of thanks, who, who is the faculty for business analytics. Dr. Sapna Tyagi is currently working as faculty associate in the business analytics area. She's having over eight years of teaching experience at post graduation level. My, her research interests include data analytics, machine learning, deep learning. She has authored various research papers in peer review journal in the area of network on chip, internet of things, RFID data management, et cetera, and mining, data mining. Currently, she's taking uh, courses like business analytics, machine learning and data science, AI. Uh, I would like to welcome Dr. Sapna to give the vote of thanks, please. Thank you for joining us, ma'am. Thank you so much, Ankita. Thank you for a warm welcome. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. As we come to end to this wonderful event, I, Dr. Sapna Tyagi, would like to take a few moments to express my gratitude to all of you for making this validatory ceremony a success. First and foremost, I would like to express my gratitude to our director, Professor Vishal Talwar, for taking out the time today from his busy schedule to grace us here and for delivering an insightful and inspiring speech. I'm sure the student will remember the importance of continuous learning, updating skill set, and societal awareness. Sir, we are grateful for your guidance and leadership. We are extremely honored to have with us our chief guest of the day, Mr. E.L. Jagannath, Head of Marketing, India Leadership ThoughtWorks. Sir, your wisdom of words, especially on to moving out of the comfort zone, push yourself to do more, work ethics, I think that has motivated our students and will undoubtedly have a positive in impact on their future endeavors. Your achievements and success have become a source of inspiration for all of us, and we are grateful for your time and effort. We would also like to extend our sincere thanks to Mr. Mayank Kumar, MD, co-founder of GRED, for gracing us here for this valedictory ceremony. So your wisdom, guidance, and inspiration have been invaluable to us, and I'm sure the student will remember your key points, that is consistency, stop making excuses, and push yourself to the uncomfortable show. I must express my sincere appreciation to the students who have worked hard and achieved the awards in all the four categories, as well as the big congratulations to all the students who have successfully completed the certification program. We are proud of your accomplishments and we wish you success in your future endeavors. We would also like to express our heartfelt thanks to Mr. Salman Elahi for his incredible performance today. We would also like to thank Mr. Gaurav Tejwani and Lakshmi Pudwal for sharing their experiences. Thank you. In conclusion, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to Professor Pooja Agarwal, Program Director, and Professor Richard Saxena for making this valedictory ceremony a memorable one. Your presence, guidance, and support have been instrumental in making this a resounding success. I would also like to acknowledge the efforts of all the faculty members, industry experts, the entire Upgrade team who played a crucial role in shaping the academic journey of our students. Thank you so much. We would also like to thank the organizing team from Upgrade for their tireless efforts in organizing this event. Without their hard work, dedication, and support, this event would not have been possible. Thank you once again, and have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you.